one area I'm really interested in, in relation to the economy, is just human qualities, the, the human qualities and characteristics that will help us to transform, you know, to, to help us to transform the world. Such as? Three we could look at. Happiness, trustworthiness, and unity. If we were just to focus on those three things, we would make huge differences to our economy. So, trustworthiness. Yeah. This is a very foundational type virtue. Yes. How does it relate in a business and management and economic sense? Actually, Bahá'u'lláh, he says that trustworthiness is the greatest instrument for the prosperity of mankind. Now, he's not saying it's important. He's saying it's the greatest instrument. And actually, people are picking up on that now. For example, you know, Stephen Covey, um, Stephen Covey Jr. wrote a book recently called The Speed of Trust. So he's saying that in a business, in a business environment, in a community uh, where there's high trust, it's, it's like a dividend because everything works faster, you know, and it creates wealth. But where there's low trust, it's like a tax because things go slower and things have to be checked. Since, you know, with the advent of, or with the increase of terrorism in the world, that's had, that's had one destructive impact, but a consequent destructive impact is it's reduced trust. Because, you know, we have to know that the people coming on our planes, for example, aren't going to blow them up. Another really important thing about trustworthiness, there, are, there is a table of, of national economies or nations and it talks about the, um, the, the amount of corruption in those economies. And there's a pretty clear correlation between the level of corruption in an economy and the wealth of that economy. So if you were to ask an e economist, what's the supreme instrument for the prosperity of the world? Um, I wonder if they'd say trustworthiness. And you mentioned happiness as well? Well, happiness is fundamental, you know. Um, I, I talked before about the, you know, these prescriptions, these uh, man-made economic prescriptions. One of the things that we've been encouraged to do, or, or the world has sort of presented for us, is for us to be consumers. And our ultimate happiness is to be found in consumption. And the interesting thing is that it's, it's not actually, it's, maybe sometimes it's not even about owning something. It's about actually, okay, I've got that, now what's the next thing? You know, so our happiness has been shaped up in the way we look and the way, in what we buy. And that's, we, we know that that's fundamentally not what contributes to human happiness. Human happiness is actually a quality of the soul. Joy is a quality of the soul. So our economy needs to be mindful of that. If we, if we are focusing on, uh, I guess, ephemeral happiness in, through, through just consuming things, then we're going to get the economy wrong. The third quality that you had mentioned was unity. Unity is fundamental to the Baha'i faith. I mentioned before how all the, all the manifestations of God, all, the, all those messengers of God, have brought a special message particular to that time. And, and Baha'u'llah, he, he has looked at the world's needs and he said that the most important need is unity. Now, we've only been able to manage sort of limited unity in the past. For example, Muhammad, you know, the prophet of Islam, he, he moved it on further by encouraging the nation state. But Baha'u'llah has told us that actually the earth is one country and mankind its citizens, and that's where we need to be. That's where our economy needs to be. Mm -hmm.